Hello there, everybody! This is the Arctic Platypus here today. Alpha 7, wait, what? Not Alpha 7. Alpha 8 was just released today. Oh, I'm so impressed. The Fun Pips have done it again. They have entirely altered the gameplay. And I'm sorry if this video is late. I just, it's the, only, the best I could do. Uh, since I have to be quick, here we go. Firstly, I need to speak to you all about this final smooth terrain. I actually thought... I actually believe that the original implementation of the smooth terrain was pretty damn good. But, as I walked and used the cheat mode to fly my character around the map, oh, I almost died of astonishment. As you climb those hills and wander the map, you will not notice that this game is composed of blocks. Everything is destructible, but is simultaneously smoothed together to produce a beautiful looking world. As you all see displayed currently, I flew around the map, observing all of these perfect Hills. I am so impressed, guys. And guys, holy shiitake mushrooms of the most tropical land. The roads which climb those hills look so perfect. I can just imagine in the future of the game when I'll be driving a dune buggy as fast as I can up a hill, get some air at the top, and evade those bastards during the depth of the night. Ugh, this new smooth terrain, and with it, the new and improved collision system will pave the way for the most epic vehicle experience possible. And as I'm in a hurry, I will go over only a second feature. And th those, these are really the two main features. Viewers, there happen to now be airdrops. Those of you who are yelling at the screen, and I know there's probably some of you, saying, stop copying Rust, you already did that with the boulders, I completely agree with you. They are taking ideas from Rust, and taking, like, kind of the whole idea from Rust. Well, not, I mean, just the whole, like, part of that, just whatever. But these airdrops make sense, unlike the resource boulders. Think about a zombie apocalypse. The governments of our countries would obviously do their best to assist the people. Well, most of the governments would. A lot, or some. I don't know. Just some of them would assist the people. They would probably end up dropping supplies out of the planes for the everybody just to use and help themselves survive in this horrible situation. And, by the way, guys, when I glimpsed the plane fly across the morning sky, it gave me so much excitement. I could only imagine flying a plane over the land with Joe in the back launching missiles and raining shells down into the swelling masses of zombies. Oh, that would be so amazing. That would be so perfect. There are also a few new settings and a new layout for them. That, all, that always happens, so I won't even go over that. You'll just see on my screen for like a few seconds about what's going on there. People, this game is indeed heading in the right direction. And even if there are a few issues, such as the rust boulders, I know they will all get sorted out eventually. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Sorry this video is a little late, but with school and track, it was literally the best I could do. And you all have a fantastic day. Peace.